what were the different types of business analysts do we have followed by the skill set then we'll get into the roles and responsibilities of a ba all that stuff now let's understand what exactly ba is all about so business analysis is all about understanding the business problem of any enterprise and providing solutions for that this is what generally business analysis is any organization across the world require a business analysis to improve their business so this is required for two different reasons any organization you take any organization and point to be noted whatever the explanation i am giving you is a generalized explanation which is nothing to do with any domain or technology nothing to do with any domain and technology so if you see business analysis the business analyst required for two different reasons one either they wants to enhance the organizational performance or process or else they wants to increase the revenue cycle i'll give you an example to you for example if you take a bank right so what banks do banks will take deposits from the customers against to that they'll provide some interest at the same time banks will issue loans all that stuff now being a bank in order to manage their business operations what is that they do they use different applications you know it right they use online banking system for managing their online banking operations at the same time they use core banking system for uh, managing their back end operations of the bank they use crm application to manage customer relations they use payroll management system to manage their employees all that stuff right so any organization i am just taking an example of a bank so if bank wants to operate their business act there are multiple require multiple applications they will be using in this process so whenever we do all that how they do this because this is not a human intervention this is not a manual intervention okay so because whatever the operations they want to do which is in large in number customer data all that stuff so for that they have to depend on the technology so online banking core banking system payroll management crm application all these were technical applications right whenever there is whenever there is a technology which was involved the technology required upgradation from time to time do you agree on this when there is a technology is involved there is an upgradation is required what upgradation when there is a technology or an application we have that application require an extension based upon the business need what we had i'll give you an example something non it so that you could understand both of you for example you are we are we used to use qwerty keypad mobiles in the beginning days now we are using android phones iphones all that what could be the reason behind this because either you are using a qwerty keypad mobile or an android or an iphone both uses are same because this is all for used for incoming calls and outgoing calls the basic structure of using mobile remains constant and same you don't see any difference in it then what else is the difference the only difference is that whatever the features and functionalities are the differences so why are we going for androids and iphones now why are we using all that because our personal and professional experience is demanding different different features that's the reason why we are changing mobile so technology requires upgradation depends on our personal and professional needs i hope you understood the same way any organization requires technology to be upgraded to the next level okay now let's get back to our example right if you take any financial institution a bank all that assume that they are using a core banking application for a very long time core banking for back end operations whatever the back end uh, business operations customer management all that stuff so for that banks uses all this up this application core banking 
Now, assume that this application they were using for a very long time. Assume that they're using from past eight to 10 years. That time, whenever they started using that application, that time their volume of business is very limited, very small. Customer base is very small. Whatever the services they are offering through the bank is also very small in percentage. But can you expect the same thing now? No, right? So because business might be increased, lines of services might be increased by the organization. Hence, what is that they want? They want to upgrade their application to the next level. Depends on the present business requirements, what customer is having. Now, assume that you both are belongs to bank, right? You are all working on core banking application. Assume that, right? You both are working on a core banking application in an organization. Might be your designations might be different, but you are using core banking application for your office activity. You are users, remember, right? You are trying there to use the application. In this process, you are finding some difficulty to generate reports, something, all that stuff, right? So because as I told you, your business requirements have increased, business uh, services have increased. So the existing application is not compatible. You are looking for someone who can provide solution for that, right? Can you do this on your own? You can't do it. Why? Because you are, you are the people who might consider as users. So you are here to try to use the application, not to repair. Agree, right? So there must be someone who has to develop that. Who will be developing it? Usually technical people, support is required. Now there is a technical team, technical department in your organization because every organization now and then have their own IT teams. Right, so their IT, those IT teams responsibilities to manage multiple applications within the organization and the performances, everything will be looking after by those people. Right? That is what usually their responsibility is. As like as finance, HR, operations, customer CRM, customer relations team, all that stuff. The same way IT department will also be there. Their job is to manage all the applications which are using in the bank and uh, how the applications were performing. Right? Is there any problem arised? Any small issues? Everything will be troubleshooted by those guys. This is what generally those people were. Now, you have approached those people and you are expecting some solution to be given by those people. Right? That's what your expectation is. Can you connect to those people? Is it possible for you to connect? May or may not. Why? Because yours is different. Because your expectation is different. And what is that is different. Right? So because you are expecting from a you are, you are explaining everything from a functional perspective. But technical person may or may not understand your requirements right. Because they are from a technical background. They know about the technology, all that. They may or may not understand what you see. Hence, what is required here? There is a amount of communication gap which you could see between you guys, two parties. Hence, we required an intermediary who connects between these two. This is where the business analyst role comes into picture. So business analysis or a business analyst is a kind of role who acts as an intermediary between business and technical communities. This is what the generally the role of a business analyst is all about in any organization you take any organization either it may be a bank or an insurance organization or it's an IT company wherever the role of a business analyst is to gather the requirements from the stakeholders or from the customers and providing the solution remember the solution what being a BA you are giving is a business solution it's not a technical one this is what the responsibility of a BA is now Usually the business analyst will be of two different variants. One is functional technical BA. Usually will be a functional business analyst. In most of the occasions will be functional BA. Because the business technical BA means that respective technology must be known to them. So the chances will be very less and them, they themselves will train those people usually. Right? So that forget about that. But now functional BA. Now we were expecting some technology also required for a BA. That's a different story. 
now you could ask me both of you could ask me like raj what kind of skill set do we need to acquire to become a business analyst because we are from a different backgrounds educational wise professionally how to connect with be a role right so what is the basic skill set required because whatever the additional skill set depends on the roles and responsibility of the job what we get might be different right because every job job profile will not be the same but majority of the skill set what we must be knowing must be the same right so that will not be changed any time what is that skill set that skill set normally we call it as craft skills c r a f t craft skills c stands for communication skills communication means it's not only a verbal communication you know how important verbal communication is apart from verbal communication written communication skills is also required written communication means if you want to explain something or if you want to deliver or explain to someone how do you explain it because you want to gather or you want to address to large people if it is one to people okay okay anyway you can address it verbally but if you want to explain something to your technical team which is in large number how do you do it you cannot explain or verbally isn't it what is that you need to do you have to explain this through in a mean of verbal written communication so you have to prepare some documents like brds srs all that this is all through requirements communication we call so written communication is also needed next listening skills required why listening skills you may be good at communication being a ba customer may not be as communicative as you are customer may not be as communicative as you are so that's what what is required here communication skills plays a vital and important role at the same time you need to have some good listening skills as well so verbal communication is required written communication is itself is required at the same time you need to have some good listening skills also you need to be a good listener to understand the requirements well in advance unless because customer may not be as communicative as you are so that you need to understand the right perception behind why customer has approached us for what reason what are their needs what are their demands all that should be understandable to us well in advance this is what we call it as communication skills are next when we talk about requirement analysis what is requirement analysis analyzing the requirements let's say the example what i have taken a core banking application now when you go to the customer location when you are interacting with them will you interact with only one stakeholder will you interact with only one person whoever is connecting to that respective application you will be interacting with all those guys right now assume that i am a ba i am interacting with you guys i am interacting with only one person no whoever is connecting to that core banking i am interacting with all the people agree so what is required here usually we require to interact with multiple people multiple stakeholders multiple requirements because one depends on the kind of role and the designation what that person is handling their requirements might be different from one another for example if i am speaking to a business head business head never explains you what features i want what functionalities all that right business head always try to see what is the investment we have made right so we have invested some budget to develop or to enhance core banking application when this is a budget we are spending this is what the target our business goal is this right so is this business goal will this application achieve or not right this is what usually the business said because they they think from a business perspective and that to a long term perspective they never thinks about an end user side because you are a user whatever the practical difficulties you are facing and what is that you are expecting is entirely different from a business head because business head perception is different because as i told you right so they think from out the vision part vision what is the vision they have because they are investing money on it right so what vision they have for that what kind of goal business goal they want to achieve finally in order to achieve that business goal what kind of strategy they are making out of it 
this is what usually they have an idea so when we when i'm meeting a stakeholder i'll be meeting different people different people have different perceptions so analyzing the requirements is essentially important for a ba right because there may be some business requirements maybe some stakeholder or end user requirements maybe transitional requirements functional requirements solution requirements maybe regulatory standards to be taking into an account hence regulatory requirements might be required to me all these things comes under requirement analysis next functional skills what is functional skills knowing about the functionality if i know about the functionality about how bank performs functions all that it would be easier for me to interact more with the customer or with stakeholders if i don't do that obviously it creates difficulty for me to understand because i cannot expect you to be good because you are a user you may be of different types right so you may not have be you, you may you may not be in a position to reach my expectation i cannot expect the same right so because their perception and their understanding in, re in reference to the application may be limited being a ba that is my responsibility to understand what was the reason behind approaching us right what could be the reason are they giving the right requirements to us or not it is not by intention sometimes by ignorance customer will give you wrong requirements right? happens that has to be traced out by the business analyst it's over a period of time all these things normally we do this is not a single day activity because analysis planning design itself takes minimum of two to three months time for us to complete before you're going for implementation at least analysis planning and design itself takes two to three months time it will not be done in the single day because you have to meet different people for different reasons sometimes those people won't be available so we have to see the availability all that so a lot of things are involved in it so knowing about the functionality is required essentially next technical skills knowing about the technology your cause you are developing an application which is a technical application you as a team i am saying not as a b now you're interacting with technical people the very first thing is that you must be knowing about the development life cycle how application will be developed what are the different different stages are there in stlc all this must be known to you well in advance this is what we call it as technical skills stands for so communication skills required understanding the requirements this is what we call it as requirement analysis functional skills is needed followed by the technical skills also required for you this is the skill set which being a business analyst whoever come across must be acquired because most of the times especially ba career who are looking new people either freshers who are new to business who has done them business management or mba or bbm something kind of stuff or else people who are looking for career transformation either from it to it or non it to it whoever they are usually those people will use this those people will choose this business analyst career because this is useful to them let's say i'll tell you an example to you because for freshers anyway that is different because freshers anyway you don't require much in advance like expectation and all won't be there but assume that i am a person working for a banking sector in back end operations for about 10 15 years assume that roughly speaking i am working for different organizations from past 10 15 years i couldn't see much growth in it now what is that i want to do i want to enhance my career into the next level where i am in the peaks of my career where i have to take a decision now because you want to i want to explore myself organizational wise uh, professional wise i want to move on to the next level this is what my expectation was what being a bi do first what being an individual i do i have to choose a career which enhances my experience which because my experience should also be counted in that so business analyst is required because if you go and meet to if you are if you uh, have go if you meet uh, reach to any it company they require a person who is having domain knowledge because i assume that i had experience of 10 15 years in back end operations i may be useful to them because if you take technical people it company have lot of technical guys they are having technical people they don't see 
any any people else apart right they don't require technical people there who requires that they require some person who know who knows about the domain along with business analyst experience so especially people who are looking for career transformation this profile is something really useful so this is what the introduction about ba followed by the role of a business analyst why business analyst require what kind of skill set which business analyst must be familiar or good with right this is what the introduction about ba i hope you guys have understood this now the next question you could ask me raj what kind of business activities being a ba i have to perform right what are the different different business activities i am here to perform here so the business activities are as follows these are the business activities being a ba we have to do we will be performing what are those business activities you will be interacting with project sponsor or a person who has invested money for a project to gather the business requirements some time back i have given example for a business said all that right that's what i have given an example to business said is the person who will be giving you all the uh, like what are their vision right what strategy they have right what are their business goals all that so you need to consider those points because if you want to create a project goal for your project you must be aligned with the business goal what customer wants to achieve finally if both are not same your project is considered as a failure what are the solution will be given by you may be good but it's not according to the need of the customer hence it is considered as a failure so business requirements we will be gathering from the project sponsor point number 1 point number 2 when you need to develop an application or when you want to start a project what is that you have to do first of all you need to identify the scope along with objective need all that stuff we must be knowing about the scope of the project scope means possibility what are possibilities what are the difficulties we might be facing right what are the challenges we may have we may face all this has to be assessed prior in advance before you are getting into the requirements all that scope of the project is essentially required because normally the scope will be of two, two different types in scope out scope i'll explain you that in, in later days not now this is not the platform to explain about the scope all that now so if you want to know about the scope status of the scope and all you have to discuss with the project manager because project manager is the person who heads the project who is responsible to manage the project all that stuff so you have to discuss with the project manager so project manager will give you all the leads to you means what scope they want to you to identify all that right so because project planning everything will be looking after by them hence they'll be giving you all the information this is what we call it as scope which you will be dealing with project manager next user requirements you are taking from the user sometime back i have given an example by taking you into consideration you are the users i can get requirements from you because you are the one who is using core banking application what is required from you i will be knowing when i when it when will it happen when i am interacting with you i will be knowing about that i may not expect full and final requirements from you at a time sometimes because different events because as i as i already mentioned earlier right so depends on the type of the client the user we get right so maybe depends on the type of uh, uh, the designation they were belongs to right how exposure what kind of exposure do they have on that respective application to it really matters all that stuff this is all we call it as user requirements like business user all that stuff this is all comes in the user requirement next after user requirements whatever the solution you want to develop developing a solution for that what is needed there are different different features functionalities all that were needed isn't it so who is going to develop these functionalities all that developers testing team all these people have to develop it so this fun what functional requirements to develop what non functionalities possibilities all these you need to discuss with the development team right so development team testing team all that next is there any kind of expectations and the constraints if any stakeholders are having 
we have to discuss with these people. So this happens throughout the project. Of course, initially your role is so prominent in the phase of analysis, planning and design. But your prominency will be less in percentage when it comes to the implementation and difficulty, implementation and testing. But of course, our role is important because if there is any changes happens in between, that has to be coordinated by the BA team itself. Right from the inception of the project to the delivery of the project, role of a business analyst is essentially needed for a BA, essentially needed. But analysis, planning and design, this is where our role is more prominent when it comes to uh, when it comes to the implementation and all everything, our percentage of requirement will be less in percentage. Right? So that's a different story. So these are the activities which usually BA do because again here if you closely see there were different stakeholders you could see like external and internal as well. External stakeholders means people who are supporting us outside like project sponsor or other stakeholders business users. These people are the other people right external stakeholders who are supporting us from outside. Internal stakeholders like developers testing team project management team because they are they are the one who is interacting with you and who will be a part of your team. So those people we call it as internal stakeholders. So interacting with both the people is essentially required for any BA to perform. So these are the different different activities being a business analyst we need to perform. Understood clear Priya and uh, Pratima is it clear to both of you? Yeah. Is it clear to you? Yeah. Right, so this is all about the introduction part of VA, what I have given, what I have discussed so far with you. At the same time, I have discussed even about the skill set which is required to become a business analyst. Followed by this, we, I have even discussed about uh, uh, what are the activities being a business analyst we need to perform on that. Now let's discuss about the mindset of a BA because what kind of mindset a business analyst must be good with or must be with right? the mindset of a business analyst is also essentially required. Because of course requirements knowing about the requirements all these things needed but there are some underlying competencies also required. Because knowledge areas whatever are we learning anyway it's a part of business analyst role we do it. But there are some underlying competencies, something like you need to know about the decision making skills, problem solving skills, emotional intelligence. All these were also needed because we never know when the problem arises in the application. Sometimes we require to solve these problems without having any difficulty or without feeling much pain to both the parties. Because sometimes customer will expect you to develop the changes within no time due to this due to his business issues all that stuff but remember when it when you're developing a technology or when you're developing or addressing the technology end of the day it's been uh, it is uh, happening through manual intervention right human intervention when there is a human intervention which is involved in it it is not possible to develop something which is customer is ex which customer is expecting overnight or in few days not possible because end of the day it's a human intervention which is involved so there is always there is a tussle between between uh, uh, business team and technical team. So the coordination has to be done. Right? So those underlying competencies were essentially required. So that is one kind of mindset you need to know. At the same time, you need to understand the behavioral traits of the people who are involving because different different behavioral traits of the people we come across. So coordination coordinating the team is highly challengeable because most of the people unfortunately they don't recognize the importance but still practical reality is that right so understand the traits of the behavior of the people right so coordinating all these people is a challenging task in any organization especially for ba in reference to the role of a business analyst it is also needed as like as it because we are dealing with a lot of people it's not only requirements because managing requirements is not a task. It's not a big deal. Practically speaking, but managing people. 
by understanding their vision by understanding their expectation their demands their perceptions are challenging right it's not a task easy task to do it right so that is required next we must be having a complete understanding about the business right so you need to understand what could be the business goals which customer wants to achieve what was the re what would be the reason behind because what are the solution we are developing is a part of the business it's not something away to that so you need to know about the business goals strategy all that stuff that is required so that sort of business focus must be there for any ba for sure at the same time you need to lead and facilitate the process all that next you need to solve the right problems means if you want to solve the right problems you need to understand the problem in a manner what exactly it was so ba should have a clear mindset that's what the point why i'm why i'm mentioning about mindset of ba is this if you are in a state of confusion whatever the solution you have given whatever the business because your business solution is the parameter to develop the technical solution all that stuff so you if there is any confusion here what automatically leads to the failure of the project so whatever the amount of time we have spent whatever the amount of investment we have made in terms of the technology manpower budget everything will go on waits so that should not be happen that should not happen so we need to solve the right problem for that how you see the problem and whether you have addressed the right problem or not is what essentially required for a ba especially because that is really needed because if you want to make your career as a business analyst and if you want to move on to the next level so these are the points are required out of the experience what we had as a ba for earlier those days and all that so these points we have we have mentioned of course this is based out of the experience what we have what i have all these years so based on that of course i have given all this so next is that you need to lead and facilitate as i told you you need to analyze the information because some time back i have told you whatever the information you have received you have to see whether is this information is adequate for us is it sufficient for us to develop the solution or is there any other information do we require a part because never expect customer will give you everything right? so because no food will be supplied uh, no food will be served on your plate right so you have to do it on your own right what is required you know that's it's kind of buffet right what is needed for you you have to put it nobody will put it on your plate not possible it's not happens also it will never happen in reality we need to identify because you need to because there are a lot of influences will be there on us so we have to get rid of this get rid of that uh, influences sometimes expectations should we have to meet those expectations demands all that we need to convince people analyzing the information whether what are the information they have given was right or not we have to cross check by dealing with discussing with different people all that stuff that is needed you need to identify the gaps as well what are the different different gaps for example there was an application as i mentioned you core banking application we have taken customer is expecting you to upgrade it so if you want to upgrade the application what is that you need to do first of all you need to identify the gaps which are now so based on that so that you can identify it right so identification of the gaps is also required next you need to simplify the things don't make things more complicated that is important because this is where clarity of mindset is required so if you don't do it obviously we think we make things more complicated it leads to confusion finally it leads to failure next you need to be a part of chain manager right so you you have to be a chain manager for the project and part of the solution so this is what generally the mindset being a business analyst one must be good with at the same time questioning as well right? so you have to question right so why it is doing right so why are we doing it for what reason what is the reason behind doing this so for what reason we were doing all that stuff because we need to correlate all the people right business people you need to correlate with you need to correlate with the technical people sometimes technical people doesn't understand what customer is saying sometimes customer may fail stakeholders may fail to deliver what is there in their mind right? so what is happening behind their back so sometimes it happens 
which is not guaranteed all the time. So there are chances of communication gap among these people. So that has to be taken into an account. That is also something essentially required to understand all that stuff. So focusing towards business, coming back to the point again. So the first point is about focus on business, like focusing on the business goals, all that is required. Solving the right problem. For that, you need to understand the right problem. Then you can give the right solution to the customer. Questioning is required. So for why? This is where the, there is a technique called why. Why W technique. Why, what, when, where, who, all that stuff. Right? So different, different techniques we follow. We do that. Next, we need to lead and facilitate the process. We need to analyze the information in a way it requires. You need to identify the gaps. What are the gaps were there in the existing stuff? You need to understand the present thing. So how to move on to the next level should be identified by us. Next, you need to simplify the things as much as simple as it can. Because too much complexity leads to confusion or it leads to failure as well also should be taking into any account. Responsibility of requirements, of course. We are responsible being a BA that we have to take. Next, you have to, you must be a chain manager all the time. You must be a part of solution. You must be a part of the solution for the project. At the same time, knowing about the behavioral traits of the individuals, team, stakeholders. Because if you want, if you want to make your application more successful that too within the existing timelines if you want to complete so you need to know about the traits of the people as well that is also one more thing which you must be good with so these are the different different aspects which we have to consider when you talk about the mindset of a ba is all about so these